Hey everyone, JSB360 here. Today I'm going to show you a new thing Xbox just announced called Xbox Game Streaming. And what that entails is basically you'll be able to stream uh, your Xbox games to your phone. Now it is free, but basically you have to be an insider uh, with Xbox. And I'll show you how you actually get into that. Uh, if you go to My Games and Apps and you go down to Apps here and you go across into... Xbox Insider Hub, you can actually sign up to this and you can get in. And basically, I'm in the alpha skip, which is, I think, the highest you can go. But um, I think it is enabled for everyone if you're just an insider. Anyway, it's been bought out today. And basically, now you'll be able to take your Xbox here and basically play games on the go. Now I'm going to teach you some things on how to set it up and some little tips and tricks that I've actually come across. So hopefully you all enjoy and um, let's get started. Now, as you can see here, you're actually going to need a phone to do this and I'm actually recording via phone. And basically that app that you're going to need is called Xbox Game Streaming on their Play Store. Got to wait until the phone focuses. It's a white icon. Yeah, I think you can just see it. Anyway, so you go on the Play Store and you actually uh, search for that. When you download that, you should be able to open it and it'll bring you to this page. You've got to click next, next, next. It'll tell you to sign in with your actual account details and everything. And then from there, you'll need to turn your Xbox on because you'll follow through those prompts. So we're kind of going to do that now, but uh, I've kind of already set this up. What you also need is a Bluetooth controller, so an Xbox One controller will be very handy. And we're just going to follow the prompts here, saying how to set it up. So basically you hold down this little button here, it'll do the pairing, I'll turn Bluetooth on. Go search. And there you see wireless controller. Now, I'm actually based in Australia, in uh, New South Wales. And as you know, we actually have really bad internet where we are. So, yeah, I didn't think this was going to work out until I stumbled upon some things. So, fix that up now. So, it says controller paired. So, then you're going to go connect. But what's going to pop up is actually on your Xbox uh, screen, there'll be like a little message that'll pop up. Yeah, so it started streaming. But what will originally happen is to get it set up, it'll say you're trying to connect into once, of course, you download the 512 megabyte update. And basically from there, you'll have a prompt saying set up. It'll do your connection test. Now, some things that I didn't know is if you actually got wireless connection, which is what most Xbox Ones do have, um you're going to have some problems actually getting this to work. And I actually didn't know a way to solve this until I decided to just pull the plug out of my PC and plug it in the back of the Xbox. Now, funny enough, it said my connection was about 4.3 megabit per second. Probably stuffed that up anyway. But um, basically, it's saying you need about 9 and I was like, well, that's weird because I just did a test on my Google Home and it actually wasn't um, showing me those horrible numbers. It was actually giving me really high numbers. So I was like, okay, it's got to have something to do with the wireless. And bugger me dead, 100%, it was the wireless. See, the wireless actually interferes with even the controllers here. And it was saying about the milliseconds lag uh, to the time back and forth between the Xbox was also an issue. You can actually see on my phone here, it's actually set up. And you can actually use your controller because it's already connected. So technically, I could sit back and pretend I'm using the controller, but it's really connected to my phone by Bluetooth. So to fix this, basically, you're going to need to be hardwired. And a little thing to know is... In my room, I actually don't have um, any proper connection. So I actually have to put these little mesh units 
in my room, which is what they call Google Wi-Fi. And from that, you can actually put a hard cable, uh, like a Cat5, Cat6, whatever, put it in the back and actually attach it into a PC or an Xbox. And doing that actually gives you your full speed, which is pretty interesting to know. So if you're having problems like, say, you're downloading a game on Xbox or you just want to be able to stream or anything, the best way to do it is definitely to have hard wire connection into the Xbox One. So basically, when you do that, you put that in, you rerun the test again, then it should give you it. Now, I'm on an NBN uh, setup of about 50. I think it's NBN 50, if I'm correct, with TPG. And... You know, I didn't think that was going to work out because I thought I would need to higher rank with the NBN 100. But yeah, that works out. And basically, you just need to be connected by the wire. So now you'll be actually be able to play um, any of your Xbox games that you see here. You actually have like an actual joystick on the screen. And you've got all your buttons for what you would normally have with the controller layout. So... Yeah, you can actually play any game. Now, this is a bit different from Project X Cloud because this is actually coming straight from your own Xbox. So basically, you could turn your Xbox off or you could leave it on, doesn't really matter, right? And you could basically be on a train right now playing your games as long as you have an Xbox controller. However, with this control pad that's on your phone, you can kind of play it. Um, we'll, we'll kind of get into that a bit more here, uh, a bit later, but, um, yeah, I just want to show you that it seems to be all right to play on, and it just wants a controller to connect to, so, you can see that actually works. Yeah, normally I would go, well, hang on, this is fake. Now, there is, of course, some bugs, as you can see on the screen. It is very, very weird. <laughs> you can kind of just make it out, but, uh, yeah, that needs to be fixed 100%, which is quite strange because you would think it would do this sort of weirdness with the screen in the actual game itself. So all the buttons actually work, but they're just in horrible areas, so you can't actually edit them. At all. <laughs> you got your D-pad here, which uh, shifts around. You got your ability to hold your buttons. There you go. I'll show you Halo in a minute. But yeah. Instead, it's actually much more handy to actually have an Xbox controller. Now, this is the screen, of course, and this is the phone. Now, I'm going to see if I can set this up so that you can kind of see it in a much easier way. Now, of course, I'm trying to hold this with one hand and hold the phone at the same time recording another phone, which is quite funny. But yeah, it does work. Um, it's just, it depends on your connection. So if you're actually playing this out and about using mobile data, which you can actually set that up by going into your back button here and just go disconnect. Right. And then you click on your profile. Which, yeah. And you'll see allow mobile data. Honestly, this phone is pretty hard at getting things to focus. And that's all your settings there. So you can actually turn that on and then you can definitely play your games on the go. Now, this is different from Project X Cloud, as you can see there. But, um,. You at least have this available for free, so you don't have to pay anything for this. And I don't even think Project X Cloud, even in the US, 
allows you to have a uh, payment yet because I think it's all in beta at the moment. So yeah, basically once you set that up, you'll be able to play your games on the go and that's what happens every time. So you, every time you like go to the home screen on your phone and jump back, it's going to do this animation. So there you can see there it says streaming has started. Doesn't mean we're actually... Um, <laughs> There you can go. That's another issue. Come transparent now. But that doesn't actually mean anything. Now, I've been playing a couple of games to see what works and what doesn't. This game works quite fine. Um, this is, of course, a Game Pass game. And this is Halo Master Chief Collection. I actually wanted to record this video uh, on this phone that's in front of us and show you on my Note 9. But here you can see Halo Master Chief Collection, playable. I believe even with the disc in, you can still play the games, but I am gonna test that in a minute by putting Black Ops 4 in. So you can see Halo does indeed work. And I have done a little test run to see what the connection's like with 4G and all that. And yeah, it seems to work quite fine, but you do have some hiccups sometimes. Like, if we go for Halo Reach here. You can see up here it's the same. Okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that to happen. So, this phone is, of course, actually using Wi Fi in front of us right now. And that is also being recorded at the same time. Doesn't seem to be any lag. Not even from the screen for the Xbox for the Bluetooth controller that's connected to the phone. I know this is weird, but yeah, it doesn't seem to have any lag. Like if you look at the joystick now. If we, uh, it's much better. So yeah, you'd almost think this is coming straight to the Xbox One. But yeah, Halo does work on there and of course as I said I've got the game pass so I got access to Halo MCC and of course I got it on disc but I don't have the Halo Reach expansion yet but yeah that's just another game that works fine um, do you have the controls on the screen yes you do have the controls on the screen Always forget which buttons are to reload and not. So yeah, I have tried playing Halo 5 Guardians, which is where I mix up my controls. That works quite fine as well. I wouldn't recommend playing a multiplayer game because that's definitely where you're going to see issues. So I guess I could show some more games of this later if people want to see what games can actually be played. But for the moment, I just want to show you a couple of them, show you that it's working fine. Like I said, this is all coming from Wi-Fi. And um, yeah, there is no actual direct connection, like I said, in my room. It's pretty impressive. 
but you certainly couldn't record at the same time because yeah it'd be very unplayable we're just not at that stage yet so there's Halo 5 Guardians I won't jump into the campaign I actually just jump in the forge whatever start something you still got your controls they still pop up So yeah, you could kind of get away with the controls on the screen, but it's pretty hard to play. And I've tried doing it myself, and I just don't find it that good. So yeah, you definitely need a controller with this. And luckily all the Xbox One controllers actually have that ability to be Bluetooth. I don't see any lag on the screen. No. It'd be interesting to see what Red Dead Redemption 2 is like playing on this. I have played Crackdown 3, that works also. I think pretty much all your games play on here. But yeah, I guess I can make a video on what games actually play on here and is there a limit or is it just whatever game you've got on your Xbox it just plays directly by streaming I don't know but yeah I guess we'll leave it to Crackdown Free because we are getting up to 20 minutes in the video and as much as I would like to cut this stuff out it's being filmed by a phone Well, at least you can see I'm not bullshitting. You can kind of see a bit of lag on the screen itself with the inputs of like the joystick. So see, when I go back and forth, it's not as accurate. And I think that also affects the game. So hopefully Microsoft can fix that because I would love this to be way more accurate. But I guess it could be the connection. I don't seem to have the problem on the controller. Now, if you don't have NBN, then I would say this is definitely not going to work out because you're going to need a pretty fast connection. And I have a lot of stuff connected in my house. Um, 
So, <laughs> that's still pretty impressive that it's still able to work. And that was the controller, we'll show you on the screen itself. So yeah, I think we could pretty much leave it there, but um, yeah, I found this pretty interesting when they announced this this morning, to give everyone access to this now. To be honest, it's about time because I keep hearing so much about this Project X Cloud and the game streaming, and I was like, well, when is Australia actually going to get this? And the other question was, is Australia's connection even good enough to actually play this? And the answer to that question is actually yes, it works quite fine, especially even on a 4G network. But I guess we're not done yet because I did promise we were going to put a game disc in. So I'll go play Call of Duty now. Put that down for a sec. Bet you it has an update. There's Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay, COD. Hopefully this doesn't need an update. pretty bad to put that on. We might have some problems with the connection. So, multiplayer, downloads, you can see there, same thing, no bullshit, no tricks, just start it. Yeah, so basically it does work with games that are in the disc. You can see up in that corner there, there was actually a bit of a... Uh, was basically trying to say there's input lag. Let's go yes for that. I don't think I put bots on, but... Um, just to give you an idea that, yeah, games by disc are playable too by streaming. And, you know, I could basically walk away now, turn this... Uh, phone into mobile data mode and then just play it from there on the train or something like that. You 
can see here it also works. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it. So if you want me to go through like a list of games, what works and what doesn't work from my collection, uh, yeah, we. I guess I could do another one uh, if people want that, but I'm pretty sure people get the idea now that this is legit and this works. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I am going to now try and make some more videos on different things. I am going to try and start game streaming and all that throughout 2020. And as you can see, the battery's already gone now. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can get this all going in 2020 because I really want to start doing this stuff now. Anyway, check you all later.